Everybody ready, guys? Okay, well, first of all, uh, real proud of our team. Uh, Hard-fought win against a good Memphis team, a team that actually beat Mississippi State. Uh, you know, we played extremely well in defense. Uh, you know, it's the best defensive game we played really by a long shot. Our crowd was phenomenal, and our, 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 our players fed off our crowd. Uh, it's an unbelievable home field advantage, the space game and everything that goes with that. Uh, really good win. You know, you look at the defense, six sacks. Um, you know, we had three interceptions. Uh, you know, I think we had they had a muff punt. We had a – I don't know how many fourth down conversions that we stopped, but our defense played championship defense tonight. Offense, we got off to a good start. Um, you know, they made some adjustments in the second quarter, running two through a gap. Then we made a couple adjustments in the second half. I think the big thing for me offensively is we got to get better on third down. That's really been our Achilles heel. But we talked about the second half of the season. Uh, it's a new season. Uh, we're 1-0 now. Uh, the challenge to our team is very few teams actually get better the second half of the season. That's our challenge. And I think we did tonight. Um, you know, it was good to be 1-0 in the second half of the season and something we can build upon. Questions? Coach, how much more is an advantage for you having Isaiah Bowser back looking closer to, to his old self? Yeah, I mean, he's an impact player. He's not 100%. Uh, and you can see he just he just leans on people. He runs through tackles. He. He has that ability. That last run he made to seal the deal, there wasn't, there wasn't a whole lot there, and he bounced it out. Uh, you know, we were wanting to you know, have his carries, I think, at 20. He carried at 26, but uh, we'll uh, be smart with him this week, and hopefully he'll be closer to 100% next week. Three interceptions in the fourth quarter alone. I mean, those yep. were the, probably the biggest plays of the game for you guys, I would think. What, what was your thought on your def on the performance from the defensive backs? Tonight? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they did a phenomenal job. Now, and I will say this, though. Our defensive front, they got after the quarterback. It all works together. You know, they're harassing the quarterback. He made some throws, but our secondary did a super jump. They didn't give up any big plays over the top. They kept everything in front. Uh, it was an impressive defensive, uh, uh, you know, game. Uh, Coach Williams and staff had a super game plan. That's a high-powered powered offense. And that quarterback, you know, he was, he was played in, in a school that was really close to my old, old job. He's a phenomenal player, uh, and our defense did a great job. Well, we mentioned offense and defense here. Coach, you uh, said on Monday that you were looking to also turn special teams into an advantage after the struggles previously. Do you feel like you did that tonight? Yeah, I told our special teams, we just need to play clean. I mean, we need to catch punts. Uh, we need to protect our punter. Um, and we did that. We covered the one, the big muff, and that gave us 14-0 lead right there. We got down there and harassed the guy. Uh, we covered kicks pretty well. Um, and we were pretty solid, you know, in, in our kicking game. You know, the field goal was really close right there. That was a tough series right there of events right there before half. But, uh, you know, I think especially we did a solid job. Coach, uh, you contained their run game. They rushed for more than 150 yards the last three games. Yeah. Yeah, we're, I, I really think we're a good run defense when we put our cleats in the ground and our guys can play fast and – uh, Coach Williams' his group, you know, they mixed in the zone with the man, and our run fits were really good. Got them in those passing situations, able to pin our ears back. And, you know, we played a lot of defensive linemen, too. And, uh, you know, they were they were in that feeding frenzy mode. It was great to see. How frustrating was the drops by receivers tonight? Say it again. How frustrating was it to see all the drops by receivers tonight? <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's, there's a lot of frustrating things offensively. You know, we're still growing. and. Uh, you know, right now we're playing two quarterbacks, and I, we think that gives us the best chance of being successful right now until Dylan comes back. And so we're a work in progress, but we did some really good things. We had some explosive plays. We had the reverse. We had a couple speed sweeps. Uh, you know, we got to get to where we can throw it down the field a little bit, you know. And, uh, you know, we'll hopefully we'll get Flash back in the near future and present a, a really another threat besides O'Keefe, you know, in the, in the deep passing game. What goes into the decision to switch Joey Gatewood in from Mikey Keene? It seems like sometimes it was just one play here and there, but yeah. other times. Yeah, it, it was more specifically on certain plays, and you'll see us continue. I mean, we're, you know, Joey presents a completely different deal. You saw down there, I mean, it wasn't there on the read zone. He stuck his foot in the ground. He got eight down there to end the game right before we gave it to Bowser. He just presents a different challenge for the defense, and, uh, you know, that's what's best for our team. Do I like playing two quarterbacks? I don't. But that's what's best for our team right now. And we'll continue to build on that. Each week will be a little bit different. Joey had the plays. We felt really good about him. Um, you know, and so we'll continue to, to develop that. Coach, going back to what you just talked about, you got Ryan involved in the passing game and the rushing game tonight. How important is he for this offense? Oh, yeah. He's our, he's our uh, you know, him and Johnny Richardson. Those are the two guys that can really turn something 
uh, you know, into nothing and, and make an explosive play. And, you know, Ryan's been that guy, and uh, he's been very consistent. Um, you know, we need to try to find probably more ways to get the ball to him, even though we did t tonight. But uh, he's a phenomenal player and, uh, you know, a guy that we need to get the ball to. Coach, a, a lot of players had a lot of good open field tackles tonight. Yeah. Uh, what changed from <clears throat> earlier in the year to now that's really helped him step up? You know, I think in fairness, you know, you got a new defensive staff, you got new defensive players. Now they've had some injuries and stuff like that. And I think it's kind of getting in a groove and the coaches knowing their players, the players knowing the coaches and kind of settling down at what our strengths are. I thought our staff did a wonderful job. I thought our players responded. I mean, they were flying around. You're exactly right. We tackled. We tackled the space, and they got a couple guys that have the B button. You know, I mean, they can really uh, make people miss, and I thought the tackling was really good. And that's something that, you know, Travis Williams, you know, that's been his MO, I mean, in the past. I mean, his guys tackle, and I think you can see us continue to tackle well. You know, you mentioned uh, tackling uh, being one factor with the defense there. Something else, too, kind of their resolve. You had the, uh, just before the uh, interception that stopped the score there, deep the first interception, you know, you have what looked like a missed block in the back, and then there's a holding in the end zone, and then they come up with the turnover. Kind of speak to um, your say, defense. Say that again now. I mean, t take me back. What quarter was it? Uh, it was it was later in the game. I think it was a, a fourth quarter. It was the first oh, interception. Oh, our defense got the interception. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Well, um, I think the one time I think we did, we, we shoved a, a receiver out of bounds. You know, I don't know if the ball was in there or not, but. You know, they had a couple of really impact penalties right there in the fourth quarter, you know, that kind of, they were down the 20 and you turn around, they're on their 20, you know, so, but we got the interception and worked out. Coach, you had a uh, conversation with uh, Mikey Keene after he took the sack on third down uh, on the sideline. What was mm -hmm. that conversation about? Who are you at right here? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, that's a confidential conversation, okay. but I mean, he's our quarterback, you know, and uh, this is his fourth game and you know, we have high expectations. I think he's capable of being a very good quarterback. And he's learning and growing. And, uh, you know, so that was really – it was just a kind of a coach-quarterback conversation. Coach, uh, I take it you were frustrated with the Memphis defense being a little bit slow after you subbed and they were subbing at the end of the first half. Is, is that what you were frustrated Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, it just seems like this year – I mean, there's been three or four games that they let people come on. They let people walk off, and then the play clock's going down. That one right before the halftime, we put a guy in there with 17 seconds. And the guy stood over the ball, and then we get a five-yard. I don't know. We, we got to – I don't know. This is new to me. Uh, I've never seen that before, but it's happened four straight, or really four. It didn't happen last week, but it happened the three before in this one. So, I don't know. That's a new one. What did you like about Mikey on the first touchdown drive? Uh, <laughs> You know, he led us down the field, you know, and he, he monitored, you know, he managed the offense and got everything right and did a good job. And then he made a really good throw to Brandon. And then that one to, you know, to our young freshman, the tall one, that was a pretty good throw, too. You know, it was real close to being a touchdown. Last question. Big Cat had his, Big Cat had his first career multi sack game. He just walked in the room. Yeah. What do you like about his performance? Yeah. Front yeah. I mean, he's been really close. He's been really close to a couple, and it was good to see him finish that. And I think that just kind of probably broke it open for the, the next five games. All right. Thank you all.